It seems that they have made a version of the Toyota Hilux, which is considered to be the world's toughest pickup truck by Top Gear in an episode years ago. And we'll talk about that episode here in a minute. But uh, today we're going to check out the WPL C24 4x4, 2.4 gigahertz truck. It is a little RC truck that is deemed a crawler. It is a very inexpensive crawler. And uh, a lot of times I like to show you guys cheaper things on the channel, not just the most expensive stuff out there, uh, because more of you guys can get a hold of these. You can play with them with your kids or um, take them out yourself if you want to just kind of get dabble into the RC crawling hobby. It is a lot of fun. I discovered it several years ago now, and uh, I just fell in love with crawling because it's just so much fun and easy to do you don't need to have fpv goggles to do it you don't have to have an expensive 1500 dollars drone or anything like that um and it and it has uh i would say one of the lowest instances where you need to have spare parts and a bunch of stuff because you just don't break stuff as regularly as you do with something like a nitro oc car or um, even some of the basher rc cars uh, every time i i drive a basher it seems that I need parts after just about every session because you know when you're driving 80 kilometers an hour and you hit something um, stuff tends to break but these are very very slow and that's the point of these these little rc crawlers uh, are actually really quite cool and there are a lot of different varieties of crawlers out there there are ones that look more like this one and this considered to be the scale category um, and this one again is modeled after the Toyota Hilux. And I, I just think it's so cool, all the accessories that you get with it. You get some decals, you can leave it stock, just standard white with the black wheels. I think that looks super cool, but just to show you guys in this video what the decals look like, I went ahead and put them on the truck, but uh, I love the profile of the truck. I love the front end with the tow hitches on the front here. You've got this little um, bumper bar up front. It even has extras in the box you get extra rear view mirrors which i think is super cool uh, you can see the side profile right there it almost looks like a real little truck so when i saw this one on the website i had to to get a copy of this one for you it just looked super super cool in the back i also noticed right away that this little toolbox lifts up and that's where the battery goes in and it plugs in right here this little 2s 500 milliamp battery it's a it's a, actually a nickel metal battery um, and it's not super powerful but it does give you around 25 to 30 minutes drive time which i think is pretty sweet but um, you have a little snorkel on the side if you want to add that on there give it more of a scale look and in the front you have your headlight stickers and uh, you have quite a few stickers all the way around that you can put on that are you can put some minimal looking stickers on there or you can add the more aggressive looking uh, tiger ripping through the side of the sheet metal in this truck and this truck is heavy duty the original truck was like solid steel and they don't make them like they used to right now um, if we look on the, the banggood website it's actually pretty cool because uh, there is a, a hardcore following for the wpl c24 it's a 1 16th scale rc truck but look it has 4.9 uh, stars out of five which is really really good uh, so 88.9 percent of people love this rc truck and i think a big deal about that is the design the way it looks and the price and you know the performance the performance is not going to be super high but 243 reviews really kind of give you an idea of, of what kind of um, fun can be had with this particular truck so uh, we have quite a few detailed reviews people showing the boxes here um, other ways that people have painted the body of the truck to look different added different wheels and apparently there's tons of accessories for this truck available which i, I think is super fun uh, one person commented that they changed out the tires they thought that the tires were just a little bit um, hard so you can get softer tires probably at your local rc shop or uh, on amazon somewhere I'll, I'll try to find some some links for tires and put them down below for you uh, but I, I think what we have here though is kind of what looks like a fun rc truck we'll, we'll see how that works out today uh, when we take it out to the rocks of oregon i'm gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna charge up both the batteries that came along with it i'm gonna get some batteries in the transmitter it takes two double a batteries in this transmitter and uh, the only thing that i wish was different about this particular 
crawler is that I wish it had two speeds. And it's funny because it says high speed series uh, on the transmitter itself right here. Um, it's not super high speed. It's very slow, but it has a ton of low end torque. So you can do really nice kind of uh, detailed, slow moving crawling over top of some of the roughest terrain. So I, I'm interested to see how this one's gonna work outside today. Um, and, and actually what the drive time is going to be. If it's going to be like 25 minutes worth of battery time, I won't show you all that. We'll just kind of clip to clip to take the best parts of the video today. But uh, I, I do want to test this one out because in Top Gear, when they did that episode, it was crazy. I went back and, and researched this truck before I, I took it out for you guys. Uh, apparently, they bought a little farm truck and they did no modifications to it. It's not a Hollywood truck, they said in the episode. And first thing they did was drove it down a series of stairs in, in the UK. And then they, they drove it into a, a cobblestone wall. Um, after that, they, they, uh, they took it and, and drove it into a tree. Uh, that didn't break its spirit. It, it started up again and kept running. The engine was fine. They also took it out and they submerged it completely in salt water. That didn't kill it either. And eventually uh, they set it on fire they they took fire and put inside the cab they started the whole thing on fire and they brought it back to life even after that and they, it seemed like they couldn't destroy this little truck spirit and so it kind of it gained like a massive cult following which is really cool so the next thing they did was they took it they set it on top of like a 20-story building and they had a demo crew dynamite the bottom of the building the building fell over 20 stories to the ground the, the Toyota Hilux landed and was smashed in a pile of rubble. They pulled it out of the rubble and the Toyota Hilux survived the 20 story drop. Uh, so kind of amazing that the, the truck still started up after all of that. They could not kill this truck. So um, a very, very cool truck. And I just love the way it looks. If there was one for sale on Craigslist around here, I might have to have one just for the fun of it. Uh, but again, it's not like a, a fast truck or, or a very powerful off-road truck. It's only 90 horsepower, but it is extremely simple and uh, just kind of an everyman's type of truck. So uh, super cool. And I'm, I'm happy to have this one to show you guys today. So let's go outside and let's, let's test out the RC version of uh, what's considered the world's toughest truck. Here we go. All right, guys, welcome to Elk Island, one of the most premier crawler spots in all of Oregon. It is just a giant playground out here. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the first battery. And I'm just going to kind of drive line of sight right now. We're not going to do FPV, but we might cut to an FPV scene next. Um, I, and, you know, for $60, what am I expecting? Um, I'm probably expecting at least maybe a, a broken part here or there maybe something falls off i did tighten the underbody screws on the back of the shocks with attached to the body they were a little bit loose so just you know a heads up if you get one of these uh, give it a wiggle with your hand and you'll see that it's a little bit loose but what i did notice first off is that it actually climbs pretty good and it doesn't seem to want to give up which uh is interesting it has Great scale detail as well. I, I just can't stop looking at this truck. It's, it's so nice. But the FPV view, this is from my DJI goggles. And if you've never done FPV on a crawler or an RC car or a truck before, you gotta try it. It's really fun. It's a whole different feeling. And when you're actually FPV crawling, it's actually quite challenging because uh, it's really hard to tell the depth of how deep something is um, so you you will have some rollovers that that will happen to you um, but it's challenging and that's that's kind of adds a new a whole new perspective on FPV crawling and it seems to get stuck sometimes but eventually it can kind of wiggle its way out and you know in, in spots like this I'm, I'm not thinking that this car had a, this this truck had enough power to actually get up this type of incline, but no problem again. And I see what people are saying about the softer tires. I think the softer tires might have a little bit firmer grip to the rocks, but these tires are wet right now and they're they're actually still getting over top of these rocks. And that, that's, that's something to be said right there. So we're on another incline right here and there's just so much terrain out here that 
it, there's so much it feels like you're exploring like the surface of the moon um, it, it is neat because the scale of this at 1 16th when you drive just a little ways away from you even 30 40 feet away it feels like you drove like a couple miles with this little crawler and it does do really well in even some of the steepest inclines that I found, which I, I, I'm surprised with. But I think the coolest thing about this truck, though, is the way it looks. When I saw it on the website, I'm like, man, I have to have that thing. That, that thing looks super cool. I, I love pickup trucks. Uh, I drive a Mercedes Sprinter van for fun, and uh, that's my recreational vehicle. Man, I would like to have one of these now. I, I discovered these this week. I never really paid attention to the Toyota Hilux before, but man, this is a cool looking truck. And it's base. It is a base, 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 base model type of truck. Uh, I wouldn't say that this is something that, you know, I would probably take out and crawl real life rock crawling in Oregon. But um, if you guys know more about the Toyota Hilux, you know, leave a comment down below and let me let us all know about that because uh, maybe it's more capable than I think it is. But uh, I just think it looks so cool. And I wasn't going to put the stickers on, but I, I just wanted you guys to see what the sticker kit looked like on the truck. You also get some running boards with the truck as well in the pack. And you get two sets of rearview mirrors, which I thought was great. Because I, I don't know how many times I've brought a RC truck out here and I've come home and noticed on the body, I'm missing the rearview mirror. It always happens. They always seem to fall off. Uh, if you want to put a little bit of hot glue or CA on the back side of it, that might actually keep it on the body because they are just pushed on. It's just a push fit. Very easy to put the accessories on there. And the snorkel survived this whole drive test, which is actually pretty good. But man, she just keeps going. And, and I have to say like this little truck, I think it's just so light that it has great climbing ability uh, because of the, the lightweight. I also put a 4S 450 milliamp battery in the front seat of the truck. So I'm actually adding just a little more weight to my truck up front. And if you get the battery up front, that helps climbing quite a bit. I would never stick a battery on the back end of the truck over the, the last two wheels because uh, you're gonna get some tumble back with that extra weight back. But it's just so fun to, to drive this truck and, and explore with it. And I wanted to go around this big tree that had washed up here from the river, but uh, I I had to, I didn't, couldn't find a way around it. So I, I just decided to see if I could get near it and make it, we're gonna make a left turn. So I'm gonna turn to the left and start making my way back over toward myself. And it really is tricky to kind of figure out where you are in such a maze of rocks out here. I'm using myself as sort of a, uh, <laughs> a beacon. And I'm gonna make a left turn here. We're gonna try to go up this little incline right here. And it's hard to tell in the FPV view at what's actually happening. Um, and, and this was a pretty good incline. I think this section of the rocks over here is really good for smaller crawlers um, and, and you know, more beginner type crawling. There's some really steep stuff on the other side over on top of this uh, space across from myself. And right there, you know, you can get this truck kind of sideways. I had it sideways at one point and I was able to get it back up and, and get it back on its feet again, which is a good sign of a good crawler. I think the CG, the center of gravity on the truck is really good. It just seems to want to stay on its feet which is cool. So I, I think this is probably one of the, the funnest RC trucks that I've had um, in, in a couple of years for the price. I think it's super cool and, I, and now I understand why it has such a following. I think it's a great little truck um, for a beginner or even somebody who has some experience. It's just so cool to look at. I'm loving this little <laughs> C25. You can check this out in the link down below guys. If you grab one I get a kickback and please do subscribe to my channel because I'll bring you more reviews coming up on Drone Camps. See you later.